Although the trade war between the U.S. and China has prompted fear among investors, the Treasury Department is singing a different tune. Recently released data from the Treasury shows the United States has received a total of $63 billion in tariffs over the past 12 months, and that number is expected to rise. According to the Wall Street Journal, the U.S. collected $6 billion from China in the month of June alone. That's up from $5.8 billion collected in May and $4.8 billion in the month prior. Although the U.S. is benefiting from these tariffs now, one group of Americans has been feeling the brunt of the deal. Our farmers were targeted by China, and our farmers, frankly, these are great patriots. I'll always help our farmers. Uh, there'll be a time when the biggest beneficiary of what I'm doing with respect to China and trade President Trump acknowledged the hardships our farmers have been facing and assures them assistance is coming. The president says he plans to divert a portion of the tariffs to purchase domestic agricultural products, which would then be shipped overseas in the form of humanitarian aid. Meanwhile, the administration has already begun compensating farmers for their losses and has increased American agricultural exports as part of a recent trade agreement with the EU. My administration is standing up for our farmers and ranchers like never before. We're protecting our farmers. We're doing it in many ways, including with China. You may have read a little bit about China lately. Agricultural products and exports have increased by more than $10 billion, and beef exports have increased by more than 31 percent. Now, the U.S. is reportedly on track to generate $72 billion annually and could even reach $100 billion if the president follows through on his recent threat to impose a 10 percent tariff on untaxed Chinese goods. If approved, that tariff would go into effect starting September 1st. Meanwhile, the president is set to resume trade discussions with Chinese officials in Washington next month. Alicia Britton, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.